Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Dungeon Crawlers Part 2 discussion on who the hell is Ray. So, we've gotten some pretty awesome responses from you guys on YouTube. We posted our theory about uh, Maz Kanata's conversation with Ray, disproving that Lou could be Ray's father. Now, you guys have given out some excellent points to how she could still be a Skywalker, as well as other theories of her possible descent. Now, we're going to smash right into these. Now, our first fan theory comes from Elf Friend. Elf friend. Here she states that I'd like to point out that during the dream sequence we can see her in what looks like Jedi robes, her exceptional skills, and the part where she nearly dies at the hands of the Knights of Ren, which appears like part of the slaughter of the Jedi Academy or Temple. So here she is uh, basically suggesting that this is why uh, Rey has such exceptional skills with a lightsaber, a uh, uh, connection to the Force, and many things that we saw in uh, The Force Awakens. Now as to her origin, Elf friend suggests that Ben uh, was the one that dropped her off on Jakku. That Ben was manipulated by Supreme Leader Snoke, maybe through a manipulation of, of, of Darth Vader or what have you. But he feels conflicted in killing his cousin. Maybe he's a double agent. Maybe he's got some deeper meaning or connection to the Jedi Academy. So for whatever reason, he's the one that drops her off on Jakku. So from what I'm getting from this, it seems like... She could still be a Skywalker or perhaps a Jedi training in the Jedi Academy before it was slaughtered. Interesting theory. Now another theory that's pretty close to that is by Brad Stedman who says, Rey was dropped off on Jakku by the Jedi Academy that Luke founded. Rey perceives all the fellow children uh, were her family, so the, the fellow Padawans and people training under Luke Skywalker. That's who she's referring to as her family. So he also suggests that Rey might be the first of many Jedi children returning to Luke to complete their training, which that actually sounds like a really cool story arc. Not having one, but several Force-sensitive uh, maybe trainees from the Jedi Academy that had their memory wiped in order to protect them from the First Order and Kylo Ren's slaughter of the Jedi Temple continuing out throughout the galaxy. He also states that in Episode 7, storyline implies that Luke founded the new Academy as a knight. When he was last seen in Return of the Jedi, he was indeed a Jedi Knight. Where then we see him in Episode 7 uh, establishing a Jedi Academy as a knight. So he probably wasn't ready to train several more Force-sensitive people. And that led to the slaughter of the dozens of Jedi over at the Jedi Academy. Maybe there were even more than that. He also says, but now the Force Awakens, Luke is finally a master. He can reassemble his students. Rey is the first student to return. Very cool theory. I would be very interested in seeing more Force-sensitive characters be introduced throughout Episode 8. Not bad. Now, one that really struck out to me was by C.A. Brown. Basically, he or she is suggesting that Rey was dropped off by her mother, which is absolutely plausible. That would explain where she got her accent. I mean, yes, Luke doesn't have an English accent, but maybe she was raised by her mother who might have had an English accent. And yes, of course, Rey did have a mother, and it's completely believable that her mother was the one trying to protect her from the First Order. Perhaps that is another reason why Luke went into hiding, is that when the First Order was attacking, the Knights of Ren were attacking, they got a hold of his family, and there was nothing that he could do about it. Uh, perhaps his mother was able to drop off her child on Jakku before her herself being slaughtered, leading Skywalker to believe that his daughter and his wife were slaughtered at the same time. Thus, it makes so much sense that Luke would go into hiding into such a deep depression because we see that look in his eyes in Episode 7. This, this pain and disbelief when, when Rey walks up to him with his lightsaber. It's just like maybe he instantly recognizes her, has a Force connection with her that helps him identify who exactly she is, that someone that he thought he would never see again. Now through EU and maybe even other canon sources, I have an understanding that you could you could reach out with the Force and, and sense if someone is alive in the galaxy or sense their presence. That might be something that I read in the Thrawn trilogy. It might not be canon anymore, but maybe he was far enough away, thus needing the map, that he couldn't feel Rey's presence. He couldn't feel if she was alive or not, and he just assumed that she died with her mother uh, during the Jedi slaughter. Brown also dives into a quote from the novelization of The Force Awakens, um, which is canon. Ray remembers the voice of the person who left her on Jakku, which says, Stay here, I'll come back for you, I'll come back, sweetheart, I promise. 
Now that sounds like something a mother would say. So it doesn't quite prove that Luke is her father, but it gives a lot of good points leading to that maybe he is, but maybe there's a much deeper root story to it involving her, uh, her mother much more heavily, which I think is a fantastic theory. Now to wrap up the video, I'm gonna give one more theory that I've been giving a lot of thought about. Perhaps Rey is a descendant of Obi-Wan Kenobi. We've already seen some similarities to their attire. They dress a little bit similarly. The accent is very similar to Obi-Wan's accent. Some of her force powers are similar to Obi-Wan's strengths and forth force powers such as the mind trick. It would just be a really cool way to show as a trilogy or as a saga the connection the Skywalkers have to the Kenobis. I feel like it's a very interesting arc. I want to hear some more theories on that. If you guys have anything that you've read or points that could help back up that theory, please leave a comment in the, in the comment section below and kind of help us understand or solidify that theory a little bit better. Go ahead and leave your comments and theories below. Let's see if we can predict where Rey came from who she is, her parents, the origin story of Rey before episode eight, or maybe even it'll be revealed in episode nine. Let's be the first people to get this immortalized on YouTube. And with that, till next time, may the force be with you.